So there was quite a few of you asking on how to get a custom MM2 cursor, and it's actually not that difficult. Just follow along here, and you should be good. So first things first, you're gonna want to head over to osuskinner.com, and as you see here, you should have a truckload of cursors to choose from. So let's just say I want this one. I'm gonna open the link in a new tab. And I'm gonna download it and we're gonna save it to our files. Then we're gonna head over to photop.com. I'm gonna open a new project. Make sure the width is 60 and the height is 60. Change your background to transparent. You hit create and you go to the top left to file, open in place. Select your most recent cursor, then go back to file. Hit export as a PNG and you can rename this to whatever you want. Hit save save again now you're gonna go to your recent download history and to copy the cursor from there afterwards you're gonna go to your player you're gonna right click go to more open file location a new tab is gonna pop up you're going to open file location again then scroll around to find content then textures then cursors and finally keyboard and mouse as you can see I have two cursors here from prior usage so what you're gonna want to do is remove the two cursors that you have from default here by deleting them then you're going to control V or paste your copied cursor in and you're gonna rename it to arrow cursor then you're going to copy and paste again and you're going to rename it to arrow far cursor after these are set you hit the back arrow twice and you're gonna scroll all the way down to find mouse locked cursor you're gonna right click and you're going to trash and then you're going to control V to paste again and you're gonna rename it to mouse locked cursor after this is done you can close your files and you can open up the player and there we have it the cursor is set ready to go in any game including murder mystery 2 thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe I'll see you